Welcome back. This episode is going to be a catch-up of several weeks where we take a look at the Made in Italy collection. And then I have a uh, couple of things at the end to, to chat about. I just want to thank everybody for watching. We are now at 1824 subscribers, which is fantastic. I'm super, super excited about that. Thank you so much. And again, here we are, Made in Italy. Now, not every ma Made in Italy brand is uh, a, an Italian brand. This is a French brand, Aubercy, uh, with some. Uh, this is Bontoni, which is a, a, an Italian brand. Uh, then we have uh, that followed by Bruno Mali. Uh, that is a, um, an Italian brand as well. Uh, then we have some of the named brands. Stefano Bemmer, also a uh, staple in Ferenz. Uh, then we have Michael Darren, which is an American brand, uh, which is made in Italy. Uh, then we have another French brand, which is Altan, uh, uh, also known as Altan Bautier, uh, which is from France, um, but they do uh, make their ready-to-wear shoes in Italy. Uh, beautiful shoes with great patinas, which are done in France. Then uh, moving right along, we have Paolo Scafora. Uh, another uh, icon of an Italian brand. And here you see uh, a pair of split toes and then a pair of suede wingtips. Just beautiful, beautiful shoes. Speaking of beautiful shoes, we have Antonio Macariello. Uh, here we have uh, the Lantra Patina on a Principes. Uh, then we have a, a textured suede loafer, the Valerius. Uh, these are on the Hawksbill last. And then this is the uh, chisel CA-275 last. Uh, moving on to Enzo Bonafe. Uh, beautiful, beautiful Adelaides here. Uh, some beautiful hole cuts with a floating medallion. Uh, some, some gorgeous split toes uh, in hatch grain. And then finally, Shell Cordovan Ballway Boot. There is a uh, contest at the shoe form for a cover photo, and so I did some practice uh, over the last few weeks just taking uh, pictures of shoes, thinking of a cover photo in mind. Uh, um, here you have some St. Crispins. Uh, these are some Bontonis. Uh, really trying to figure out, you know, the best direction to have the shoes, the way to have things set up, what's going to provide the best view for the shoe, and then, of course, the angle to take uh, the picture for as well. Uh, I tried doing collections. These are my Italian split toes. Uh, the theme of the contest is four split toes, and so that was driving some of my decision making. Um, I did a shoe circle with uh, different types of leather, different uh, manufacturers, different types of uh, aprons on the split toes. And then I, I started settling in on, on these two shoes, uh, which are, um, of course, the uh, uh, Gaziano and Girling Thorpe and the Edward Green Dover, uh, trying to uh, come up with something that uh, might be uh, perfect. I did some, this there's a pair of Meerman and Willow Grain. Uh, these are at Enzo Benafe um, in Hatch Grain. Uh, these are my Acmes in Hatch Grain. Uh, and these are my Ascot Cons, uh, also in Hatch Grain. You know, tried different angles, different ways of being able to see it. Uh, here's another one of the shoe circle with a different view. Uh, the full circle from that same view. And then I really started getting back to the, the Edward Green and the Gaziano and Girling. Uh, and then finally settled on this one, uh, which I thought had the best overall impact of the shoes. So unboxing has been relatively uh, dry the last couple of weeks. There's been a lot of shoes on order that just haven't come yet. Uh, for the shoe shorts, uh, general knowledge shorts, I w really wanted to focus on a new shoemaker that I haven't tried yet. This is Thai Shoemaker out of Japan, and uh, they're a bespoke maker, and um, they have the, the website has it set up so that you understand what you need to do for fittings. And I thought that this was a really interesting thing to point out to everybody, because when, when you start thinking of bespoke, it's the getting there is half the fun, but it's also part of the price. And so this requires three visits, and then here is the price of the shoes as well, just for your knowledge. All right, so let's take a look at some recent activity on the channel. Um, with the lack of unboxings, I really spent a lot of time focusing in on shoe reviews, and there may be some that you've missed. I've also recategorized all my playlists of shoe reviews so that you can tell the difference between the Goodyear Welted, the Hand Welted, the Norvegies, etc. 
Uh, so take a look at the playlists and, and, and get caught up. There's a lot of shoe reviews out there at this point. And um, as you can see, um, I made a big splash in uh, getting caught up on uh, quite a few of the different shoes. So take a look and let me know what you think. So let's talk about the pipeline. As we look at uh, the most recent edition uh, has been the Carmina Custom Hole Cuts. Um, I did this in JFB Baker Russian Calf. Uh, and this is a Punch Adelaide. Real excited about it. And then if you look at the Spiral Hole Cut from Fachi Issues, uh, they actually sent me what it looks like after uh, this is the patina that we chose. I'm really excited about this one and can't wait to see it. And then an update. Um, you know, I did a custom Meerman, which is in Shell Cordovan, uh, continuing on my Meerman streak for Shell Cordovan this year. And then take a look at all the Meermans that have shipped or are complete, and the Vachias, which are complete. Uh, a lot of shoes coming here over the next few weeks, and just ex super excited to, to see what's, uh, what's coming in. The Carmina is only a, um, I think it's a six-week build, so um, those will be out here pretty soon. And as we look at the end of the quarter, I'm running out of daylight, only three days left. And I still have not ordered the uh, uh, Macariellos uh, on the custom last, so need to tackle that still this quarter. And that is what's happening right now.